All right, another update on the uh, 2021 Yamaha MT-07 and the KO Lightning exhaust that at the time, eight months ago, I paid $155 for it. I've seen it. I looked it up yesterday. It was like, I think it was right around $200 now, $230 US. So it's gone up a little bit. Uh, I've put about another 3,000 miles on the bike since I put the exhaust on it. I don't ride i mean i ride every day but only ride like 12 miles to work and 12 miles back i've got two youngsters uh one of them's fixing to turn one so I've, i spend a lot more time at home nowadays i don't get to ride as much so but i'm going to do a little update because i had a guy comment about a month ago asking me whether or not you need to tune this uh when you put you know this exhaust on or pretty much I know there's a lot of controversy on the internet, uh, especially in the comment sections on certain videos, uh, talking about you don't have to tune it because it has an O2 sensor, which I mean, you can see it in the video right now. Uh, yeah, well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, this is a closed loop system, so its ability to tune it, uh, beyond its parameters are kind of kind of slim. So it really does need a tuner or to be flashed or, you know, something of that nature so that you can wake the bike up because it's not, it, it runs lean from the factory. I mean, in anything you do to uh, open the exhaust or the intake, the air coming in or the air going out, you have to change the amount of fuel. That's just my opinion on the, uh, on, you know, tuning after you put exhaust on i think you should do it i you can disagree with me if you want to i don't really care it's not going to change my opinion about anything uh that being said i'll show you what i chose to go with there's a lot of options out there uh to tune your motorcycle not just the mt07 but pretty much everything out there nowadays i went with the dino jet power vision 3 which is this guy right here. It's a nice little setup. It does does a few different things, which is the reason why I went with it. Uh, you can read diagnostic codes with it and race trouble codes. You can you can do quite a bit with it. So it's it's got some features on it that some of the other stuff out there didn't have. Uh, not only that, you plug it right into your diagnostic port. It does its thing. It's It's not difficult at all. This is not a how-to video. I mean, there's lots of folks out there on YouTube that have described in a way better way than I ever could how to do this. It's not that difficult. Again, you know, I'm a redneck in a shed. I think if I figured it out, you could probably figure it out too. But that being said, let's look at... I'll show you the exhaust. Is kind of, if I can get up here, it's tight in my tiny shed here, but... It's kind of turning more blue now. It is running rich, and I'll talk about the tune here in a minute that I ran on it, but uh, it's, everything's still solid. I mean, it's not showing any signs of uh, corrosion or anything like that. So, uh, it has a resonating sound. That I'm not thrilled with. It doesn't bother me all that much. You don't hear it going on the highway. You really only hear it when you're just sitting there revving it up, sitting still. But you get up into the 7,500 RPM range. It's, it's got a kind of a ring to it. It's it's a uh, it's a little annoying, but I live with it and it's fine. The reason why I went with this exhaust. Uh, I'm kind of glad I've got my Honda out here now because I can show it header on this Honda was $500 I think shipped it's three years old it's got probably about 25,000 miles on it it's already starting to rust now this bike didn't spend every day inside As a matter of fact it lived in a parking lot at a heart, an apartment complex for at least a year so it was out in the weather quite a bit I'm in the middle of taking the paint off of it and redoing it, but it was out in the weather quite a bit, but 
that's a uh, Mac exhaust. I'm pretty sure it was like right at 500 bucks when I bought it. Three years old, it's already starting to rust. And the point I'm trying to make here is I've put Yoshi Mirror exhaust on older FZ07s. I've put Leo Vinci on an older FZ07. I've put Two Brothers on an MT07 in, I think about a year ago for, for a friend of mine. All those are already showing signs of corrosion. And they paid way more than $155 for their exhaust. And they all kind of cheesed at me a little bit about the fact that I went with something cheap like that. But my reasoning is, again, I have a couple little kids that I have to uh, have to worry about, so I can't dump a thousand dollars into an exhaust. Um, and with what I just said about you know the, the name brands that I've seen corrosion on, now those bikes live outside too. They, a lot of those kids live in apartment complexes and stuff like that, but. If this rusts out in a year or two, again, it's only been eight months. It's not showing signs of that yet. And I don't put a ton of miles on it. Now it's inside, so it's probably less likely. But if it were, say, to rust out in a year, then, I mean, what is it? Now you're at 300 and something bucks or something like that, 380, something like that, to, in, in two sets of exhaust. If I bought one right now, I'm sure they're going to go up more. But, uh still under what I paid for that and I'm not mad about it I could probably get a lot of that off with a, a steel wool pad clean it up but this bike's got a long way to go I put way too many miles on it and just didn't have a place to keep it so anyways uh, the tune that I'm running on the MT-07 there's only two on Dino Jet's website, and I haven't done that much research to see if there is a third-party source out there that's got a tune available for this bike, for uh, the eBay exhaust, I guess you would say. Um, I'm running the Yoshimura tune from Dino Jet, the one, the, one of the two that they have listed. Uh, it decreases the fan temps for when they come on. I think it, is, it turns the diesel cut off. Uh, a little bit. It doesn't turn it off altogether because you can still tell there's some there, but uh, yeah, that's all I did. And it's, it might be running a little bit rich. I can't, you know, I don't know. It's not, it's about like that all the time. I mean, it really, it doesn't build up. It doesn't build up here on the frame. Of course, I just washed the bike today, but uh, it, somebody else had said something about the exhaust pointing towards the frame and uh it really hasn't caused any issues it's like not discoloring it's not pulling the uh the powder coat or whatever that is up it's really not doing anything bad to it i saw in another video too for one of the other amazon exhausts that the way it comes out it faces uh the tensioner setup for the, the for the main rear axle bolt uh his was turning gold and I believe the reason why that happened was because he used uh, copper anti-seize in the joints between the pipes. And I believe that that got hot or he got, he used way too much. And of course it, you know, coming out of the exhaust might have discolored this piece right here on his. Uh, I saw that in a review. Uh, I didn't use anti-seize. I used... <laughs> I used high temperature RTV, uh, the black RTV, Permatex RTV, whatever it is. I used that in the the joint between the muffler or can right here, and the and the head pipe, or the mid pipe. I'm sorry. And then in the Y pipe going up to the two down pipes from the cylinders, uh, they both have uh, the same black Permatex in them. I only did that to kind of keep it from leaking and it seems to keep it from having, you know, more high pitch rattles because when I first put it on, I didn't have anything in there and you could kind of hear like some buzzing, like a buzzing noise coming from that area. So after I put the Permatex in there, that stopped. I haven't had any problems with it. it it's not, I mean, it's all still very solid. So, and I have checked the bolts a couple times since I installed it, but yeah. It's done great. 
So if you're still with me after I sat there rambling for eight, nine minutes, um, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate that. Again, PowerVision 3 on the KO Lightning Exhaust. I use the uh, Yoshimura turn, Tune on DinoJet's website. It seems to be working pretty well. I haven't had any issues. I do want to get it tuned one day. I want to take it down somewhere and get it on a dyno and actually have it professionally tuned and see what kind of difference that makes. But, uh, yeah. This is going to be the last video I make on the exhaust and just trying to answer a few questions. I do want to start doing a little bit more content about the, uh, the MT-07 and uh, talking about it a little bit more. I know people out there have questions, so... If you can think of something else that you want to ask me about, uh, drop it in the comments. Again, like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.